this is Elisa. Welcome back to my channel, Elisa in Montreal. This video is dedicated to Crochet Happy. Hi, Crochet! She's a loyal viewer of my videos. She's always so kind with her compliments, like so many of you, so thank you to all. <laughs> but Crochet, unfortunately, always says that she cannot wear my ideas because a lot of my outfit ideas are for cool weathered places in this world. Crochet! And for all the viewers who come from hot places, this video is for you. Here are my ideas on what I would wear if I lived in a tropical city. That means that day in, day out, we're talking 30 degrees, 35. I think in Fahrenheit that translates to 100. If I had to live in a country where it was always hot, one of the things that I would never ever wear is sweaters this thing would never be on top of me. I would wear my bikinis. <laughs> I would wear a lot of camisole, a lot of shorts, and for sure a lot of flowy dresses. I couldn't see myself wearing anything tight stuck to my skin because I could just see myself dying of sweat. Here are my ideas for hot, tropical, cool wear for women of a certain age. Ta-da! Shorts definitely would be part of my outfits on a regular basis. But instead of wearing just shorts and just any other top, I would rock it up this way. With a nice oversized rock t-shirt. I made some holes in it so that it could actually look even more raw. To be comfortable at my feet, I would wear these look-alike Converse. I like these because they're khaki. Where I would flash, it would be in the purse. Ta-da! This artisan purse with the flashy yellow and the purple is just perfect to marry off something in black and even with the khaki shoes. We talked about shorts, now let's talk about pants. Kind of pants I would wear if I lived in a hot tropical city, it would be these kind of pants. Nice, big, large. These are in chiffon, but of course in linen would be even better. Because the legs are so covered, I would definitely need something to keep me nice and fresh on the top. So I would wear a simple white camisole. White because it goes and marries the white of this pants. This is the trick on how to look put together, girls. The easiest trick is you take the piece of your outfit that has the most pattern. In this case, it's this. And you pick a top that to go with it or a scarf or whatever it is if this would be a dress and i would want to wear a scarf i would match the scarf to one of the colors that's in this pants in this case we only have navy and white but if this pant had navy white red blue purple lines going here then i would just take one of those colors and i would that color would be the color of my scarf and that's what makes any outfit look chic and well put together instantly for a purse, I would go for this yellow number. I would wear these white running shoes. These happen to be Adidas, but you can wear whichever white running shoes you want as long as it is a shoe and not like an exercising running shoe. Not this one. This one is for the gym. It's not to be worn in the street to look chic. The only way this could look chic is if I'm wearing a whole gym outfit and I'm actually going to the gym to work out. If white running shoes is a no-go because too much heat, White sandals will do the trick. A pretty dress that is, the shoulders are open, the neck is a bit high. I would prefer to have this as a V-neck. It is nice and flowy. It's short enough that my legs are exposed and I'm not overheating. Because the dress is red, it goes with everything. There's no color that this dress couldn't go with. And if I look at the details of the colors here, we have, besides the red, we have a light peach, a beige and a dark brown so I could wear any of these colors I decided to go with the nude sandals therefore I'm picking up this beige that it's here and that's what's going to clinch the outfit so that it looks chic the purse that I choose it's my beautiful round straw bag I love this bag this bag comes from Morocco I wish I could tell you that I went there and I picked it up myself but no that didn't happen I just bought it in a store here in Montreal the store is called Accent du Monde. I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can check it out. My last outfit is a bit on the rock edge. It would be this black and white little dress. Again, it's very flowy, short enough so that I don't 
die from heat this one is open in the front so thank god for that i wish it were sleeveless but unfortunately that's how the dress came so i got it like this i'm going to put together with this gucci look-alike slip-ons i love the twist of this summer dress with something that i find is more autumn-y because you know the toes are closed and the purse that i would use for this is my fringe purse yeah who says rock says fringe purse well there you go crochet i hope this video made you happy i hope it gave you some idea on what to wear in your very hot and tropical city in florida and if it was something to your liking don't forget to let me know down in the comments and don't forget to press the like button for the rest of you girls let me know if this was fun for you if this was interesting if you have any other suggestion or if you have any kind of request so if this is the first time you see me hi my name is Elisa. Don't forget to press the subscribe button so that you can see more video of this type. Thank you so much for watching. Gros bisous. Mwah. And this is what I wore today for this video. A cardigan worn as a sweater. My burgundy pleather pants, which by the way, I've lost some weight so now I can wear. Yay! Leopard heels. And my nude purse to go with my shoes. Mwah.